Hi, I'm Tomo Kashima, the director of Oculofacial Clinic Tokyo. Let's talk about my topic. Deep orbital terminal injection, local efficacy and systemic side effect. Medical treatment for thyroid eye disease can be divided into two main categories. One is systemic and another is local. In general, I would say that systemic treatments are more effective and local treatments are less effective. And accordingly, we can say that side effects are stronger for systemic treatments and weaker for local treatment. Systemic treatment is a treatment that is not only for the region, but also for the whole body, which can cause side effects. And in the case of local treatment, it is not possible to apply the drug deep into the orbit, considering the risk of ocular perforation or secondary glaucoma. Thinking the ideal treatment, we would like to select a treatment with a strong efficacy and weak side effect, but these do not present in the existing treatments. If local therapy can be done well technically, it should be better treatment than systemic treatments. I know you all have a lot of questions and I will try to answer them now. At our facility, we do MRI and terminal injections every four weeks. If there is information on MRI, we repeat terminal injection every four weeks until the information disappeared. We analyze the patient treated during the two-year period. The indication criteria are patients with a CAS of two or higher. A total of 40 mm trimalcium was injected inside the orbit rim, posterior to the orbit septum for four sites using 30 or 31 gauge needle with 12 mm rings for one eye. Okay. This is a movie of procedure. It is simple, just avoiding eyeball perforation. The needle is inserted between the bone and the eyeball. We analyzed 28 patients. So, uh, CAS improved, MRD1 improved, eye movement improved. On the other hand, IOP have no change, uh, exosomers have no change, no glaucoma and cataract, and of, of course, there was no eyeball perforation. MRI showed that all the extraocular muscles were reduced. Free T3, TSAB, and TRAB decrease. However, free T4 and the TSH had no change. Body and urinary cortisol showed a large decrease at week 2, but returned to near baseline by week 4. This result indicates Tremson is effective more than four weeks. In summary, I would like to say deep orbital tremson injection is effective for thyroid eye disease without any local or systemic adverse effects. So far, we have shown that tremson injections into the orbit are effective. This treatment requires only one visit per month thus reducing the burden on the patient. In fact, we have a patient who comes to our clinic once a month from a distance of three hours by plane. However, this method cannot handle the swelling of the, at the apex of the orbit because the needle is too short. The length of 12 mm is not enough to orbit apex. However, injection into the extra deep orbit are dangerous, so I invented another method. So I come to need to change this title. 
I have achieved my injection technique into orbital apex by using these two needles. This is a schematic diagram. Look at how the needle is used. First, a 24 gauge catheter needle is inserted, lays the outer cis in place, and insert the 40 mm brown needle all the way in. This is the video. First, cut off the portion of the outer sleeve of the 24 gauge catheter needle. This is to allow the brunt needle to penetrate deeper. A 24 gauge needle is inserted. And pierce through the eyelid. The needle is removed and a 40 mm black needle is inserted into the outer tube to the tip of the orbit. I will show the result. This is a patient with DON. She returned to normal with trimethyl injections only without steroid pulse therapy. Of course, CAS decreased. I would like to notice that the first method did not change ocular uh, protrusion, but this method improved protrusion by 2 mm in only 4 weeks. And the coronal maximum area of all extraocular muscles decreased after four weeks. This is the conclusion of my lecture. Orbital trimethyl injections could be more effective, have fewer side effects, and be less burdensome for the patient than existing uh, therapies. Thank you for kind attention. We did over 11,000 oculoplastic surgeries last year. International visiting doctors are welcome. Thank you.